Okay, my dear learners of P5 class, welcome once again. Whenever I'm away from here, I feel I'm missing you. I'll, I believe you also do the same, okay? Here we again, teacher Kagans Moses. I'm going to take you through social studies and we are still looking at the climate of Uganda. Somebody may be there and say, eh, are we only going to learn about the climate of Uganda? We are winding up with this and we shall be proceeding to other things. Therefore, uh, lend me your ears. Let's go through this. And in today's lesson, we are going to look at livestock farming. Okay? We are going to look at livestock farming. Remember, when we were starting on this subtopic of farming, we said we have two types of farming. That is cultivation and then livestock farming. So we are done with cultivation, which you also call crop growing, and we are opening up a chapter about livestock farming. We need to know what it means. Therefore, by the end of this lesson, I expect each one of you to identify the systems of livestock farming, like we saw in cultivation, we had different systems. Then, I also expect you to define ranch farming as one of the systems uh, practiced in livestock farming. I will expect everyone to identify examples of ranch farms in Uganda. And then lastly, but not the least, I expect you to mention the products got from a ranch and got from a ranch farm. Okay? Therefore, I expect you to settle down, switch off whatever can interfere with your attention, sit comfortably, don't forget a book and a pen so that we can move on the same page, okay? Well, our session one, we are going to look at identifying the systems of livestock farming. So just like we saw the systems of cultivation, can you think of the systems of livestock farming? I've already talked about one among the expectations that I have for today's lesson. Okay? So what are those different systems that people in Uganda use to carry out livestock farming? Okay? So I believe uh, in what you have thought about, you have come up with this. One of the systems used is that of di dairy farming. Everyone said dairy farming. Can you spell this word dairy? It is D-A-I-R-Y, dairy farming, okay? Then we have what we call ranch farming. So we can call it ranch farming or ranching, okay? Then we have what we call pastoralism. Pastoralism. Can you spell this word pastoralism? Pastoralism, P-A-S-T-O-R-A-L-I-S-M, pastoralism. So we are going to look at these systems of livestock farming one by one, okay? Yes, so as we proceed in our session two, I want us to look at defining ranch farming. And a quick one, what do you think ranch, ranch farming means? What do you think ranch farming means? Yes, ranch farming. You might have come across this in P4. Here we are just... Uh, adding on something, okay? All right. So you realize uh, ranch farming, this is, this is the keeping of many animals for meat production. The keeping of many animals for meat or beef production, okay? Just like you see. For this large piece of land, we have all these animals here, okay? And when you're so keen, when you look here, all oh, these are bulls, okay? These are what? These are bulls. So what's the intention of keeping them? They are slaughtered. They are kept for meat or beef production. So when you keep very many animals on a large scale, uh, the intention is to produce meat or beef, then we call that ranching or a ra uh, we call that ranching or ranch farming. Is that clear? All right. Let's go to session session three. Examples of ranch farms in Uganda. Examples of ranch farms in Uganda. 
So can you identify any flow ranch farms in Uganda? In other words, can you identify those places where animals are kept on a large scale with an intention of producing or providing meat or beef? Yes. I believe you have come up with such. Okay. So in Uganda, we have Chiso's Ranch. You can also call it Chiso's Ranch Farm. We have Nyabushozi Ranch. We have Kavula Ranch Farm. We have Singo Ranch Farm. We have Buruli Ranch Farm. So all these ones we are talking about, these are large pieces of land whereby they rear animals purposely for beef or meat production. Is that okay? All right. Let's move to our session from, okay? Products obtained from a ranch farm. The products obtained from a ranch farm, okay? So I still have a quick one here for you, okay? Which products do you think one can obtain from a ranch farm? That place where they keep animals just for beef production. Which products can we pick from there? Yes, take one minute and think about that. Okay? If we get their milk, then you can tell us milk. If we get their meat, then you tell us meat. But I remember, all the, ones, all the animals you saw in the picture were bulls. So I doubt whether they can give us milk. Maybe some other products, like we are going to see. Okay? So uh, from a ranch farm, from a ranch farm, or from... A ranch, we get such products here, okay? One, we can get beef, that's the same as meat, okay? We can get the hides and skins, we can get the horns, we can get the hooves, and then we can get the manure, okay? As those animals keep depositing their, excreting their waste, okay? Those waste, the cow dung, can be used in farms as manure, okay? So somebody may ask me, what's the difference between hides and skins, okay? Just like we can see them. One of the products uh, that we can get from a ranch farm is here. We talked of the beef. So this is what we are meaning when we talk about beef, okay? So this is the same as meat, okay? Then when you check this part here, this is the hoof. Or when there are many, we call them hooves. So after chopping off this meat or this beef, we shall remain with this part we are, call, we are calling the hoof. And therefore, what is the use for the hoof or the hooves? Hooves can be melted to come up with these buttons, okay? Therefore, it is very important in those factories that manufacture uh, the buttons, okay? So uh, in this picture, you can have a look at a variety of these skins, okay? Uh, just like you, somebody can tell us from which animal do we get this? From this one, okay? Then from this, uh, I mean this one here, from which animal do we get this? Okay? All these you realize some come from, uh, from the, the bulls, some come from the gods. So, uh, the ones that come from the small animals, we call them skins. Then those that come from big animals like bulls are what we call the hides. That's the difference. Okay? So besides the hides and skins, besides the beef, we have the hooves, and then we get the manure. Okay? Yes, I know many of you are now losing the attention span, and therefore I need to wind up with this lesson. Remember, in every lesson, at least you have to do some activity, and therefore, I'm going to leave behind some activity for you that I expect you to do so neatly. And when we get back, I think I can also enjoy the marking. Thank you for being good learners. Be disciplined at home. Help your parents with house chores. We love you.